I'm going to talk about a guy who's freaking ladder climbing, guys. And I'm going to jump to the Super Chats. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys for the Super Chats. Thank you so much for the Super Chats. As you guys know, how I run this show is I go through the different topics. I make sure I hit the different topics because what I do is I have my editor to cut them up and make those videos that I drop during the week. Right? So that's what I'm doing just like a normal Saturday show on a Monday night. Thank you guys so much for the Super Chats. We're going to get to those. I'm going to answer your questions if you have questions in there as well, too. It's going to be after this article. But I wanted to highlight a gentleman who's absolutely crushing it right now. Absolutely crushing it right now. And I, I'm very proud of this gentleman. After seeing this article hit Pinterest, and I saw it on Facebook or somebody posted it. But a 30-year-old black entrepreneur makes history by being awarded a $13.4 billion defense contract. Damn! Look at this, guys. Handsome man. Handsome brother. Isaac Barnes, the founder and president of Eminent Feature, whose black-owned tech firm has been awarded a $13.4 billion defense contract with the U.S. Air Force and the U.S. Space Force. Isaac is a marvel, reminiscent of young black leaders, transcending generations of relevant and personable individuals who have made such an extraordinary mark in history. Damn! CEO of a company. $13.4 billion defense contract. Do you know how many people he's going to give opportunities to? Do you think this happened overnight? Because it didn't. Isaac put in the work for 11 years, and we're going to go through his LinkedIn so that you guys understand what it takes to be successful. Look at a guy like Isaac. Look how he continued to progress within his career. Read his story. We're going to get to it right now. Hailing from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and growing up disadvantaged yet determined, Isaac's saga is one recognizable with unfamiliar progression. After dropping out of college, he would serve piously with the U.S. Marines. So he's a military vet. He served this country. Fantastic young man. Where he prospered as a software engineer and a data analyst supporting the commandment of Marine Corps. Look at that. He chose tech while he was in the Marines. And look what it ended up doing for him. Allowing for him to become an entrepreneur. Ultimately leading him to a $13.4 billion contract. Isaac then went on to work for the Secretary of Defense to produce federal websites and digital products that saved millions of dollars for the Department of Defense. Isaac received numerous awards and accolades for his innovations. His passion for technology and being a steward for the people led him to serve with influence under both the Obama and Trump administrations. His team led the 2017 presidential records transition efforts for President Obama. Notwithstanding his apparent success and still seeking the need to serve by leading, Isaac went on to be the first black multimillionaire president of the federal digital product and innovations company, Eminent Future. Serving as the president of Eminent Future, he has been a paramount in securing a defense contract worth more than $13.4 billion whilst positioning the company to be one of the fastest growing companies in Arlington, Virginia. Let's give this man a round of applause. I can't say it enough. Let's give this man another round of applause. <laughs> Guys out here doing it. Guys out here showing up, doing it in tech. This is, this is absolutely game changer. Absolutely game changer. Isaac emphatically states, the biggest issue that we have in America is that we are not working together as one unit. We are not combined. Isaac combines leadership, entrepreneurship, technology, and spirituality to design growth opportunities within a, and between organizations and inclusive communities to generate and instill the cohesive unity in America. On the heels of his remarkable accomplishment, Isaac, in a conjunction with the business partner, uh, Jose Risi, or Joe's Risi, established two crypto tokens, X Money and Stealth Project. X Money encourages its miners to reduce their carbon footprint while ensuring a more stable and secure blockchain. 
Now Isaac is using his platform and resources to give back. He is a vocal advocate for the diversity in tech and is working to close the black tech gap. His story inspires anyone who wants to make a difference in the world. He believes in cryptocurrency and Web3 are the future, and he is creating pathways for more black and brown people to join the movement. Let's give a shout out to Brother Isaac, who is crushing the game and for this wonderful accomplishment. This is history making, man. This is fantastic. Shout out to Brother Isaac. I love to see success stories like this because far too many times you don't see this sort of stuff in the news. And when it is in the news, nobody talks about it. Yet, we'll go talk about some damn Cardi B bullshit. We don't need to be talking about that garbage. That's why I stick to the script on this channel. We push tech. We push progression. We push learning. We push making a difference. And that's what the ladder climbing community is all about. If you are down that same path, you should become a Patreon member. You should become a Patreon member. I'm pretty sure somebody in my network probably knows Isaac. And hopefully one day I'll get an opportunity to meet this young, fine gentleman. But until then, I want to give this man his flowers for doing some fantastic things. And let's do this. Before we jump over, I want to share something with you because I got an opportunity to look up his, his LinkedIn. Let me tell you this something right here. Far too many times, far too many times, people think that business ownership and getting to the bad happens overnight. It happens overnight. Well, little do you know that Isaac, Mr. Barnes, was the CEO of this company for 11 years already. For 11 years, pounding the payments, making it happen, making change. Nobody heard of him. Nobody heard of him. But he kept ladder climbing, continuing to make a difference, connecting with people. And all of a sudden, after a year 11, or whatever year he's actually on right now from the company being started, $13.4 billion contract. $13.4 billion contract. Unheard of unheard of so many of you who think that fast money is the right the right way to go it's not it's not going to happen you're never going to ever get success going the fast money route it takes time it takes you climbing a ladder it takes you learning it takes you meeting people it takes you growing continue to educate yourself circle surround yourself with the right people and you stay consistent you're going to blow up. Think about the people on YouTube who it takes them years to blow up. It's the same way in business as well. So you start a business, don't think that you're going to be profitable your first year, second year, third year. It doesn't happen that way, guys. It's maybe some, for some people who got access to capital, but in our community, that's not very many. So I want you guys to, I want to encourage entrepreneurship, but I'm encouraging entrepreneurship the safe route by making sure you're serious about your career first in your life and ultimately making the transition while you still are making money so that if something was to happen, you have a safety net. Or if your business needs funding, you can do it from out of your own pockets. You can do it out of your own pockets. There's no shortcut to this game of life, guys. And you can tell from this gentleman who's been staying the route, staying the pace for 11 freaking years. 11 freaking years. Many of you are probably going to be like, you know what? Oh, man, this happened overnight. No, this guy has been doing this for 11 years. Look at his progression in his career. Small Business Council Supply Diversity. This guy is an absolute ladder climber. U.S. Chamber of Commerce, self-employed, agile product development, innovation, contract, executive office at the president. Did that for four years. AFCEA, D.C. Chief Technology Officer, contract, four years, one month. Senior Technology Project Manager, 
early on in his career. Five years, two months. This guy's been serious about every one of his, his roles that he's had. So when you see this level of progression, you see this level of progression in somebody's career, you know they're going to amount to be, to have some sort of success. Senior software engineer, U.S. Marine Corps, three years, 11 months. Moved up, senior technical project manager from there. You're a senior software engineer for three freaking years, U.S. Marine Corps. You say, you know what? I'm going to work for the Pentagon now. I'm going to get to that bigger bag because I'm going to manage people for the Pentagon. Senior technical project manager. Did that for five years. You say, you know what? I'm going to do something else. I'm going to become a CTO because now I already have a very good foundation. Now I know how to manage people, manage projects, resources. Now I can become a CTO, a chief technology officer. Making big money. Check out what a chief technology officer makes. Next thing you know, he goes to agile project development, product development and innovation. Executive office of the president. How long did he do it? Four years. Small business council, one year. Still doing it. President. So while he was doing all these jobs, guess what? He had a company. He had a company that was already there. He had a company that already exists as a side business. Growing it and growing it and growing it. Taking his skills that he's learned, learning from working for the Marines. As a CTO. As a senior project manager for the U.S. Department of Defense. Learning all of this key stuff to where now he knows how to go RFP, RFIs for government contracts, hire the right people, understand the technology stacks, understand where the gaps are in government contracting. And he can fill that gap now. But it took him 11 years, guys. This wasn't an overnight success. He had a business while he was climbing the ladder and had his head Focused on gaining the skills. Ladder climbing, ladder climbing, ladder climbing. Giving back. Being a steward of the community. One of the things they said about him, right? One of the things they said about him, Isaac is a natural born leader and a president of Eminent Future, a digital product and innovation company focused on creating societal change Societal change, winning over 13 billion in federal contracts with the Pentagon, White House, and Department of State, or Department of State. He led software development teams for both the president, uh, pro, both presidents, Obama and President Trump. He goes by future president because he plans to run for office in the early 2030s. Look at that. This guy got a 13.4 billion dollar contract, right? Has his own company. He has goals, dreams. His goals and dreams is to one day be the president of the United States. I have no doubt in my mind that Isaac will become president. Look at his track record. Look at his track record. Look at his track record. That is somebody who is serious about their career. So the previous videos that I made about being serious about your career, here's an example of somebody who's serious about their career. He doesn't take any or use any excuses for why he can't get some place. The guy grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan, where Floyd Mayweather grew up. There's not much in Grand Rapids, Michigan. He didn't come with a silver spoon in his mouth. But he made a difference. He's making a difference. And he's not using any excuses why he can't accomplish anything. He's making it happen. He said he's going to run for office in early 2030s and is passionate about helping to upgrade democracy, create pathways for more people to create generational wealth and break generational curses using technology. Guys, again, shout out, shout out to brother Isaac, who's doing fantastic work. And I'm proud of you, man. You're 39. We're about the same age. Remarkable, 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 man. Shout out to you. All right, that's what I have for today.